Good afternoon, Internet. Today I am doing a follow-up on my seal string um, like ecosystem of list video where I just want to explore characters. And I don't really have too much to say about them because they're a uh, quite a simple data type that you can see here. Uh, but they are kind of important because they do make up all uh, like... Um, well, they are used to construct strings and text streams, and so you do end up working with them a lot. For example, you have the string abc and a ref that string zero is the character a. Um, so there's a few uh, interesting things to note about characters. There's only one standardized attribute which they have to have, which is the character code. And in this case, 97 is the ASCII code for a. Um, you can do like character comparisons like so, um, which is effectively just performing the numerical operation on the character code. Um, you can sort by character uh, using car. Ooh. Um, there's other things like characters having names and then the inverse uh, you also have what is called car int so if we do code car 955 which is the lambda and then we have car int with the character. Now, um, the car int is the character encoding, and it's uh, basically just implementation dependent. So, even though the spec is pretty old, uh, modern distributions of common list like SBCL have support for Unicode. Um, now, on to the part, the, the follow on for CL string. What's, why this is interesting is because CL string doesn't let you pass a character to functions like starts with p, uh, starts with string a, b, c, it throws an error. Now, the reason I think this is interesting is because the underlying functionality can be changed by the compiler, like when the uh, compiler is running. Uh, using compiler macros. So you can use a compiler macro to see, say you passed an A, a character, to ABC, or even if you just passed the single string A, uh, using a compiler macro, you could, instead of using search A, ABC, test, uh, car equal, to get the start, you can use find, the character a test car equal so with a compiler macro when the uh, compiler is going through the source it could see you have the constant a here and starts with p and it could be replaced with a call to find um, you could even do it at runtime but uh, and then uh, using a compiler macro remove the runtime check that's all I uh, just thought this was a the previous video was a good jumping off point to uh, uh, explore characters just a little bit. Thank you very much.